Hi, everyone. I'm really glad you decided to become a Power user and learn the geospatial command line tools. This video is designed to help you get familiar with the command line interface and explore some of the commands that will help you navigate the operating system through the terminal window. This particular video is for users who are on the Windows operating system. If you are on Mac or Linux, do find my another video that teaches you how to use the terminal on those operating systems. So let's get started and dive right into the terminal. So here we are on a Windows machine. By now, you should have installed Anaconda, created a new environment, and installed the GDAL tools. If not, you'll find the instructions for doing so in the description. So the first step is to launch Anaconda prompt. From the Windows Start menu, you can search for Anaconda prompt and find the application. It will launch a terminal window that would look like this. This will be similar to the command prompt if you have used it on Windows. This is just a version of the command prompt that is got the paths configured correctly, so it'll find all the Anaconda environments and the Conda command that we'll need. This is a command line interface to the operating system. Uh, a lot of operations that you are able to do through the Windows Explorer or uh, file operations through other programs, you are able to do through command line here. This will allow you to do things much faster, and the tools that will be running, the GDAL tools, they'll be accessible through this interface. So let's learn some basics of how to get around in this environment. Whenever you start a terminal, it will always start in your home folder. So you can see currently I'm in my home user folder on the operating system. I can use the dir command. So if I type dir and press enter, this will list all the folders in my home directory. And you can see I have the desktop downloads all of the other folders, and I can navigate through that. If I want to change the folder and go into a specific folder, I can use the cd command. So I can type cd space and the name of the folder. So let's say I want to go to the downloads folder where I've downloaded my data package and I want to uh, explore some files. So I can type a few letters of the, the folder that I want. And I can use tab to go complete. And this auto completed to the downloads folder. I can now press enter. And you can see now I'm in the downloads folder. I can press type dir again. It will list all the files which are inside the downloads folder. Currently showing I have one directory. You can see this is one directory called gdal tools. So let's go further into this directory. I can type cd space gdal tab to auto complete. You can go inside. And now I can list all the files within that. And you can see it lists all the files and directory that are contained in that folder. So we learned one command, which is the, the CD command that allows you to navigate to that. If you want to go back to one folder, so if you say I clicked on a folder, and I want to go back to the previous one. On the terminal, you can type CD space double dot. The double dot indicates it, uh, go to the previous directory. So you can see right now I'm in the downloads GDAL tools folder. If I say CD double dot, I go back to downloads. Okay, so this will allow you to easily navigate your way around uh, the different folders. Let's go back to the GDAL tools folder. Many commands also have some options. So we already learned this command dir, and it lists, gives you a listing of all the files in the directory. This command also comes with an option called slash b. Uh, the slash b option says bad. So list the files in the directory, but give me a bad listing. Let's see the difference. If I do this, you can see I just get a list of files without any extra information about it. This command is super helpful where you just want to uh, create a list of files in a directory and save it to another file and so on. So let's say I want to create a, a separate file that contains just a list of files in this directory. So I can say uh, dir slash p, and I can have this greater than symbol which says send the output to a file. So I can say, create a new file called list.txt. Okay. So that says, give me a bad listing of the files in the directory and send it to a file called list.txt. Let me show what happened. If I type dir again, you will see that there is a new file called list.txt, which was just created. Okay. This contains all the list of files in the directory. If I want to look at the contents of the file, I can just open it in any text editor, or if I just want to list the content in within this terminal itself, the Windows provides you with this command called type. I said type space list.txt and press enter. You can see this contains all the 
content of that uh, file. So you can see this contains a list of files. I can use the type uh, on any other file. So I have one more file called worldcities.csv in this directory. Let's see the, what's the content of that. You can type a few letters, use tab to autocomplete and press enter. And you can see this just shows me all the lines of the file. And this is useful if you have some file, if you want to quickly preview what's inside, you can use the type command. You saw there's a lot of lines here and they went by pretty fast. If you want to go through the file line by line, you can uh, have uh, provide another option. Let's try this. So I can press the up arrow key. If I type up arrow key, that'll get to the previous command that I ran. So it's a quick way to just go to the last command that you ran. And I'm gonna use this pipe. So this is a vertical pipe key. And this says, take whatever is output and pass it on to another command. So we're gonna learn about this command and the command called more. So we say, list the content of this file world cities.csv and pass it on to this more command. Let's see what happens. Right. Run, you can see now I get one page of information and then at the bottom it says more. So it stops, I can press enter and it'll show me the next line. So I can now go through each line of the file and kind of see the content without it just flashing by so fast. Whenever I'm done, I can press Q or Control C to come out of this. And it's just come out of that. Right, so we so far we learned dir command, we learned the cd command, we learned the type command to list the content of the uh, file. Let's say we have created this file, we want to delete the file. So if I list the, the directory, you can see I have this file list.txt which we just create. Let's say we want to delete that file. Windows provides with this command del, which allows you to delete a file. So say, delete this file, list.txt. And you can see the file is now gone. Okay. So del is to delete a single file. You can also create a directory. So let's say I want to create a directory in this. Let's say I want to create a directory called test. And this has created a new directory for test. So mkdr is the way to create a new folder. And if you want to delete the folder, you have rmdir. rmdir will delete the particular directory. If your directory is uh, not empty, uh, you will get an error. So if you want to delete it recursively, you can say rmdir slash s and then directory name, which will prompt you say, are you sure? We'll say yes and you'll delete. So these are the few commands that will help you navigate. Uh, when you're typing a lot of commands and you said, okay, I want to start fresh, I want a new screen, you can type this command CLS, which is clear screen. So CLS will just clear all the screen and start at the top of your uh, terminal. So sometimes when you've done some uh, commands and you want to start uh, fresh, you can just type CLS. These are all the commands for now. Those are the Windows system commands that we learned on how to navigate to the different folders, create files, list the content of the file, delete files, etc., using the terminal interface. To practice this command and check out the video description for more resources. Thank you.